all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember this is a general reading. Lots of people and lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the Morganite. Reading number two with the Jasper. Reading number three with the Tourmaline. Reading number four with the Sunstone. And reading number five with the Blue Appetite. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the Morganite. The properties of Morganite are compassion, renewal, and love. Those things may have some bearing on your question or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's start with your yes or no answer. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut. Oh, I'm throwing them. I'll cut and then I will deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay. That's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. So we start with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles talks about generosity. It can also talk about abundance coming in. But even if the Queen of Pentacles is not abundant, she shares what she has. She's very giving, very sharing. Next, we see the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands talks about overwhelming situations. Being overwhelmed, um, dealing with um, just kind of a lot of energy, and kind of feeling like the weight of the world may be on your back. Next, we see the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords talks about paying attention to details. It can also say someone's kind of paying attention to you. Next, we see the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles talks about fear with regards to material situations. Um, fear of poverty. It can even be fear of loneliness, but it is kind of the fear of poverty, not the actual poverty. Next, we see the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords talks about fear regarding the future. How is it going to play out? Um, anxiety, not a diagnosis, but that fear about how things are going to work out. And then topping everything off, we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords talks about stuck energy, feeling like you're stuck, feeling like you can't move, um, feeling like things are just kind of stuck the way they are. Okay, so looking at this as a yes or no, this is a pretty strong no to whatever you ask tarot. Now, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, 
Nine of Cups, that's dream come true energy. So something happening in your realm that feels like a dream come true. Ooh, the sun, that is super positive. Takes the negativity out of any other energy. So like the answer is still no, but I feel like most of you, no is a fantastic answer to your question. Page of Cups, that's fun and socializing good times. And the Five of Wands. So there may be some kind of fighting going on in your realm somewhere. We'll get Oracle. We'll see how it plays out and what you can do to kind of alleviate it. Your situations look fantastic. I really feel like no for the vast majority of you is exactly the answer you hoped for. Now, let's see Oracle starting with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number one, please. Be content. All right. So you're being asked to be content, to make sure you're showing gratitude and just be, you know, happy with what you have in your realm right now. Now, let's see the five of wands with regards to the fighting. What is there to add to help alleviate this kind of controversial energy? It is time to take action. Okay, so wherever the fighting is happening, it's time to deal with it. It's time to take action. It's time to be done. Whether you walk away from the fight and that is your action or you stand up and you take up space and you know, take your energy into the fight, that could be the action as well. It's going to be different for each of you and your guides are going to guide you to what action is necessary for you with regards to the controversy you're facing, but it is time to take action one way or another. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon. We will look at the Page of Cups. What is there for the Page of Cups here? The unexpected. All right, so the Page of Cups talks about fun, socializing, spending time with friends, enjoying yourself. And the unexpected card is coming in. You may be having some unexpected um, encounters with friends or some unexpected outings that are fantastic. Enjoy that energy. The universe is bringing it in for you. Now, for the sun, for the growth and positivity, the path. All right. So the sun is lighting the way on your path. You are growing. Positivity is guiding you forward. It looks like things are really, really good in your situations right now. Even if you're transitioning and it's a little bit of upheaval, um, especially with like whatever the fighting is, it's part of your path and you are growing through everything that's going on in your realm right now. Now, let's see the Nine of Cups for the wish fulfillment. Dreams. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, this dream come true energy, something in your realm is getting ready to walk right out of your dreams. So this is beautiful energy, things coming to you that you've been dreaming of for a while. And the transparent tarot saying no. This is a pretty clear no. I mean, it's, it's a pretty solid no. What is there to add to this no? finding. All right. So the answer is no. And finding joy has something to do with it. Like I said, I feel like no is a very positive answer for the vast majority of you. And the answer is no, because you're finding something that brings you joy. All right. That is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the Jasper. The properties of Jasper are stability, wholeness, and perseverance. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the emperor. The emperor reminds you that you are in 
the power seat in your life. You're making the decisions that guide you down the path you want to go down. It's important to choose what resonates with you on a soul level. Now, next we see the chariot. The chariot talks about things moving forward quickly through your drive, your determination, your energy. However, in this deck, you can see the horses are facing away from each other. There's really no movement here. There may be some blockage keeping you from moving forward. Could have something to do with those decisions you need to make. Next, we see the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is beautiful energy. It's wish fulfillment, a dream come true, that kind of energy. And then topping everything off, we have the Ten of Cups, which can talk about a home move. It talks about very positive home energy, um, having a very peaceful home environment. All right, so even though there may be a blockage here, this still looks like the answer is most likely yes. So yes to whatever you're asking, Tiro. However, there may be a blockage that you have to deal with to move into the energy. Now let's see your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Temperance, that talks about balance, finding that harmonious balance between passion and emotion. Page of Swords, that talks about paying attention to details. So like if you're making a large purchase, pay attention to those fine details. Um, this can also talk about someone watching, someone paying attention to you, maybe on social media, or possibly you paying attention to someone else's social media. Two of Cups, that is the soulmate connection. Soulmates don't have to be romantic, although they oftentimes are. This is a soulmate connection. Either you're in a soulmate connection and there's gonna be Oracle to kind of advise as you guys are growing or you're stepping into a soulmate connection. Ooh, and the 10 of coins. Wow, I like your situations, they're nice. The 10 of coins talks about abundance coming in. So significant abundance headed into your realm. All right, let's see Oracle here now. So we'll start with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number two, please. Whatever they need to hear. Thank you, thank you. Friendship, okay. So the friendship card reminds you to pay attention to your friendships, to continue putting energy into that. But it also reminds you that you are your very own best friend. You need to treat yourself with that same energy you would treat um, whoever your best friend is. So make sure you are giving yourself some of that friendship energy as well. Now, let's see Moonology on the Page of Swords. It's about paying attention to details. What is there to add to the Page of Swords, please? A time for healing. Okay, so maybe paying attention to the details of you needing to do a little bit of healing as you're stepping into a Two of Cups situation with a soulmate. There is something you need to pay attention to with regards to healing for yourself. So make sure you are giving yourself that attention. The friendship card kind of ties in with that too. You may need to make a point of showing yourself some love as you heal. Um, pay attention to the details of that. Now let's see Queen of the Moon for temperance. What is there for the balance? Surrender. Okay, so it's time for you to surrender, to find that harmonious balance, to let the passion in, to let the emotion in, and you know, kind of work with the universe to balance. Things are happening. You've got to kind of surrender to the energy of the universe. Now, let's also see this Ten of Coins with regards to the abundance change okay beautiful so abundance is coming in this is a significant change for you and it's okay you know things are going to change but they lead to abundance so you may be changing careers or jobs or cities where you live or something something significant is changing in your situations but don't worry it leads to a significant abundance in your life now let's see the spell casting oracle for the Two of Cups. What is there to add to this Two of Cups energy here? Empowerment, okay. So you guys are either stepping into a soulmate connection or already in one. And one of the important facets of this connection is empowerment. Your soulmate empowers you, you likewise empower them. So, and, and also seeking your self empowerment as well. 
So you guys are here to, you know, empower each other, to, you know, bring each other positive energy and strength. Make sure that that's part of your focus that, you know, and, and that you are expecting that energy from your soulmate as well. Now, transparent tarot, which was a yes, even though there may be a blockage that you have to deal with, but the answer still looks like yes. You get psychic abilities coming out to clarify that. All right, so the answer is yes, and the Psychic Abilities card could be coming out to let you know that you need to connect with your guides for assistance with removing the blockage, using your intuition towards the blockage, whatever it is, your intuition, your guides, your abilities are gonna be tied into things moving forward, but the answer to your question does appear to be yes. All right, that's all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the tourmaline. The properties of tourmaline are focus, flexibility, and clarity. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, once more. There we go. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. You start with the fool. The Fool talks about a beginning. It is the most significant beginning in tarot. It's like, you know, a beginning beginning where something really important starts. And um, sometimes you jump into the energy without looking. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes some caution is needed. But it is a jump in and get started significant beginning. Next, we see the Six of Wands. That's victory. Celebrating your victory. Celebrating how you have you know, overcome and been victorious. Next, we see the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles talks about stable finances, having those stable material situations, but it also says don't cling to your money. That creates that lack mindset. So let the money flow in and out like it needs to. You have stability there. Next, we see the High Priestess. The High Priestess talks about um intuition it talks about you following your intuition your intuition leading you exactly where you need to go so pay attention to your gut instincts and your intuition your intuition is heightened you're very connected to the energy right now topping everything off we have the nine of cups the nine of cups talks about wish fulfillment a dream come true so something happening for you that feels like a dream come true feels like a wish is being fulfilled this is a solid yes to whatever you ask tarot now let's take a look at your situations angels spirit guides ancestors please show us the situations of group number three thank you thank you thank you all right let's see here the magician okay so the magician talks about manifesting you using your talents and skills to draw those energies that you desire into your realm you are a major manifester continue manifesting it's drawing things in for you the chariot things moving forward through your strength your determination your drive now in this particular chariot card see how the horses are kind of um resisting the reins a little bit there may be some blockage you have to move through could be like a worthiness block or something like that there's still a lot of forward motion though so there's a lot of energy a lot of things moving forward just make sure that you are ready to receive what it is you're trying to manifest from the universe eight of wands things moving very quickly there's a lot of fast moving energy here so things moving very quickly for you guys 
and the star. Beautiful energy. This is so beautiful. The star is about a gift from the divine, and it also talks about healing. So going through a healing phase, as well as receiving something from the universe that feels like a wonderful gift. So you've got dream fulfillment and something from the universe. Very beautiful energy. I feel like you guys are really stepping into something you've manifested. Now, let's get Oracle for everything. We're going to start with Angel Oracle. Angels. For group number three, please. Thank you, thank you. Archangel Chamuel. Archangel Chamuel is the Archangel of Love. Um, she offers her assistance to you with regards to anything you need. She can do anything that any other Archangel can do, but her specialty is love. This could be self-love. It could be romantic love. If you're manifesting love, whatever it is, she's here to help. She's coming into your reading to let you know that she's supporting you, trying to bring love into your realm, and she's there if you should need her. Now, let's see Moonology on this Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands says that things are moving very, very quickly. What guidance is there with regards to these fast-moving situations? Conclusions are within reach. Okay, so whatever is going on in your realm, it's like things are moving so fast. The answers to whatever questions you have are right there at your fingertips. The conclusions to whatever questions you have regarding how things are going to play forward, what you need to do, those are all within your reach. All right, now let's see Queen of the Moon. And I think we're going to start with the Chariot. That forward motion, although there may be some little blockage you got to deal with, the Chariot. The path, all right, you are moving forward down your path. You're going to overcome that blockage. This is all part of your path. Just keep going. Let's see the magician as well. New beginnings. You are manifesting a beautiful new beginning. And, you know, the, the uh, fool here is the biggest beginning. It's the biggest start. And this beginning, look how it's all like springtime and beautiful through the portal. And it's like all wintry on the outside. You are stepping through into something this beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. This is a fantastic reading that talks about you manifesting something that literally feels like it walks out of your dreams. Um, let's see the star with spell casting. What is there to add to the star, which can talk about a time of heal healing? What did I just say? Healing. Yeah, no. The star says it's time to heal. It's time to heal your energy. Focus on you, you focus on love, focus on self-love, heal your energy. Something great is coming in. You just focus on healing you. Now the transparent tarot, which was a solid yes to whatever you asked, you get closure. All right. So the door is closing on something behind you. Don't even worry about what's behind you. Look what's in front of you. This is beautiful energy you are stepping into. So let the door close behind you on whatever has ended. There is a new beginning that you need to jump into. So walk away from the past, walk into the future because the future looks amazing. All right, that's all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. A hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the sunstone. The properties of sunstone are fulfillment, motivation, and contentment. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards that will get us our yes or no answer. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the lovers. The lovers talks about the soulmate connection. This is normally romantic, 
soulmates when you're looking at the lovers could be starting a relationship or continuing in a romantic soulmate relationship next we have the empress the empress talks about stable foundations laying down roots having your material needs taken care of it also can note mother motherhood next we have justice justice talks about balance this could be a balance between passion and emotion this could be a um, healthy work-life balance fairness that kind of energy and then topping everything off we have the four of swords the four of swords reminds you to take good care of you to make sure you're getting rest make sure you're taking care of your body your spirit your soul all of it make sure that you are taking care of you. All right, so looking at this, this looks like a pretty solid yes to whatever you ask Tarot. There is definitely a note here that says you need to take care of yourself as you move forward. Now, let's see your situations. All right, so angels, spirit guides, ancestors, situations of group number four, please. Four of Cups, that means that some of you may not be seeing something that's right in front of you. So pay attention to what the universe is trying to bring in. It can also say that sometimes you're not seeing things clearly. Ten of Swords, something is ending. Something is over. It's done. It has ended. We'll get Oracle. We'll see why this is here. Justice, that talks about fairness again. And that balance. It's very important that you guys focus on balance right now in your life. And the hanging man, that talks about some delays or the need to shift your perspective. Okay, so your situations kind of make it look like there's some struggle going on here. Um, let's, let's just get Oracle and we'll see what the guidance is for everything. So we'll start with Angel Oracle. Angels for group number four, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you forgiveness okay so forgiveness is for yourself it's for others and it doesn't mean that whatever happened is okay it means that you're not going to give whatever happened in the past any more of your current level energy okay so letting go releasing realizing that we're all human whether you need to direct that forgiveness at yourself or someone else like i said doesn't say whatever they did or you did is okay it just says it's not getting any more of your energy so forgiveness is needed somewhere now let's see this ten of swords what is there out of moonology for dealing with the ten of swords that is an over and done ending and it may have even left you feeling a little bit stabbed in the back nothing is yet set in stone okay that's interesting. So you guys have gone through an over and done ending or at least something that feels like it's over and done, finished, but it's being clarified by nothing is yet set in stone. So I feel like whatever this ending is that you guys have had, um, especially if it was with a soulmate, um, whatever this ending is, I, I don't think it's set in stone. I think even though it feels final, it may not, not completely be final let's let's keep going please take that one how it resonates for you because i'm sure it's specific to different people different ways but there is something that is not set in stone in that ending even though it feels like it's completely finished now let's see justice out of queen of the moon what is there for justice here faith okay you're being asked to have faith that fairness is coming into your realm have faith that you can achieve balance, have faith in yourself. So faith is a big part of that balance. Now let's also see the hanging man with regards to the delays or the shift in perspective. You get hunger, okay. So hunger equals desire, like a real strong desire in some way. And this is saying, don't, you know, kind of shift your perspective on that hunger. Whatever it is you desire, if it becomes overwhelming, you can manifest more desire of it as opposed to manifesting receiving it. So just don't let your hunger for whatever it is you desire overwhelm you. Shift your perspective to being grateful for what you have now, and that's probably going to help deal with the delay. Now, let's see the spell casting oracle for this Four of Cups, because it could be that you're not seeing something in front of you, or you may not be seeing something clearly. The Four of Cups, please. Financial health. Okay. 
So um, financial health coming out to clarify the Four of Cups. This could be something that's presenting itself to you, a job, an opportunity that you're not seeing in your current realm that's going to bring in financial health. Financial health is tied into it in some way. So just pay attention to what's going on in your realm. Make sure you're trying to see things very clearly. Now, the transparent tarot, which was yes, although you do need to take care of yourself and rest, you get finding. All right, so the answer to your question is yes, and finding happiness, finding joy, finding has something to do with it. All right, that's all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the Blue Appetite. The properties of Blue Appetite are dreams, perception, and understanding. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, once more. There we go. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so looks like we start with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands can talk about making a sacrifice. It can talk about an unnecessary sacrifice or taking a really strong position that costs you something. Next, we see the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords talks about challenges and tests. It says you overcome them relatively quickly, but they are in your realm just the same. Next, we see the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands talks about partnerships flourishing, partnerships growing, and um, really that opportunity for the partnerships, whether they're creative or romantic in your life, for them to flourish. Next, we see the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords talks about a stalemate, not seeing your way out of a situation, stuck energy, just not able to see how to get resolution. Next, we see the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords says you're moving forward, but you're bringing baggage with you. You need to release anything that's not part of the present. Let go of that emotional baggage as you move forward so that you can move forward with kind of a clean energy. And then topping everything off, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups talks about looking at your losses, focusing on what you feel like you should have had versus what you actually do have to be grateful for. One of the best ways to break up Five of Cups energy is to focus on gratitude. There's always something in your life to be grateful for. Focusing on gratitude can help break up that energy. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, this is a pretty clear no to whatever you ask Tarot. Let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. The sun, that is beautiful growth energy. Lots of positive energy guiding your situations forward. And whatever is happening is happening for your growth. Seven of Wands, that talks about fighting for what you desire. It says you have the higher ground, so if you fight for what you want, you will be successful. Three of Cups, that is celebrating with friends, having things to celebrate. It can even represent pregnancy and birth. If that's something you're looking for, make sure you're getting whatever medical assistance you need. And then the King of Coins. The King of Coins can represent a person, so it could be you or someone you're dealing with. The King of Coins energy is wanting to be the person that's there to take care of everything, to help everyone. Or the King of Coins can also talk about some abundance coming in, which is fantastic. 
Now, let's see. Let's see the angel oracle here to start off the oracle. So angels for group number five, please. Archangel Chamuel. All right. Archangel Chamuel is the archangel of love. This could be self-love. It could be romantic love, love in general. She's bringing love into your realm and she's in your reading offering her assistance. So call out to her if you feel she could assist you. Now, let's see Moonology on the Seven of Wands. In the fighting for what you want, let's see. Seven of Wands, please. Have faith in your dreams. Absolutely, you have to fight for what you want. You have to put your energy in and go for it. And above all, you have to have faith in your dreams. You have to have faith that things are going to work out in your best benefit, that you're going to step into those things that you dream of. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon, and we're going to start with the Three of Cups. What is there to add to the Three of Cups here? Surrender. Okay. So, you. this is about celebrating, having things to celebrate. I feel like there's something you really desire to be able to celebrate, and you need to kind of surrender. You're going to be celebrating. Expect that celebrations are coming. Things are going to happen that are going to be there to be celebrated. You surrender to the energy of the universe. Let the universe draw those celebrations in. Now, let's see the King of Coins out of Queen of the Moon as well. Blossoming. All right, beautiful. The King of Coins could be an energy that you're blossoming into. Um, this idea is being helpful to everyone, caring for everyone, um, just you know, taking care of whatever is troublesome to others. And you are really growing into that energy. So that is, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful direction to go. Now, let's see spell casting for the sun. That's all about your growth. And it says positivity is absolutely guiding you forward. Trust. Yes, you have to trust the universe. You have to trust that everything is moving you in the direction that you need to go. You are in a growth pattern. Growth is not always easy. But trust that the universe is bringing in positivity to your realm. All right. Now, the transparent tarot was a pretty clear no to whatever you asked. What is there for the transparent tarot? You get fertility. Okay. So, I feel like some of you are asking those pregnancy questions. Um, again, whatever medical assistance you feel you need, you should totally seek out. This has a pregnancy note to it. The fertility does have a pregnancy note to it. Now, I'm not saying everyone by any stretch of the imagination is asking about pregnancy. It's just that there are some people here that are. This fertility is saying that the, the situation is fertile for growth, okay? So if you're not asking questions about fertility, the answer to your question is no, and the situation is fertile for growth. It's no because you're growing and um, the situation is changing. Now, for those of you that are asking about pregnancy, this fertility being here is a positive sign. The answer to whatever your question is is no, and again, like I said, please seek whatever medical assistance you deem necessary for your specific situation. All right, that's all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.